right there YouTube welcome back to the channel another video on old bread our project 1983 Peterbilt 359 now those of you guys have been following along we stretched the frame on this truck in order to add a steerable pusher axle on here got another cross member that goes right here I took that back off for the moment uh, just rough eyeballed three feet away with tape measure I think that my rear brackets of my pusher axle are going to end up sharing some bolt holes with this cross member and I think my airbag mount over here is going to end up somewhere right about here. So I just went ahead and I took that cross member back off for right now and the first goal here is to pull this truck out of the shop. We're going to sweep up all the drill shavings and everything up off the floor because I'm probably going to be in be rolling around on the floor quite a bit here and then while the trucks outside I'm gonna try to take the skid steer and stick the pusher axle up underneath the truck lift it up and then try to chain it to the frame of the truck to hang it there and then we can pull the truck back inside and uh, actually get to work on positioning it under the truck here now. I had to unhook the drive shaft and jack the truck up to get everything under it, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this thing hoisted up into place here now. Alright, so it's under the truck here now. Got a couple of chains on it here, so hopefully I can take the weight off with the skid steer and I'll hang there so I can get this thing pulled back inside where it's a little warmer and a little less windy. Okay, so it's on the truck here now. It's definitely uh, not exactly where it needs to go or really even remotely resembling that, but it's under the truck and uh, we can move it around from here or get some jacks underneath it and we can pull it and move it and stuff as we need to with some chains and straps and whatnot. But that's the, uh, that's the hardest part, it's just getting it up underneath the truck and uh, we'll work with it from there. Okay, so we've got this pusher axle more or less in place here. This yellow line here is what I need to line this up to. But before I do that, you can see we've got a pretty good gap in here. There's a couple of frame width spacers in behind these bolts here that I got to take out. This is set up to work with uh, several different frame widths, which which is described in this section here. And we have the 33 and a half inch frame width, so I need to take one out. They're gonna look like this. To do that, 
I gotta take these two bolts loose and take these two bolts loose and then I should be able to slide that out of there. There's one on each side. So we got the axle all positioned where it needs to go and all the bolt holes drilled. It's all bolted on, ready to go. Still need to plumb it. This is actually, Hendrickson makes a really, really nice setup here. It's all pretty well self-contained. It comes with an extra air tank, comes with the relay valve for the brakes. You just got to tie your service brake signal line into that. And then your airbags and stuff are already plumbed. All you got to do is run your control box air from your trucks air tanks to this and plumb your lift in your lower bags and there this is how I like to uh, control my lift axle these silent drive boxes are really nice it's all self-contained you got a few different connections here and then your wiring and if I remember right on these, uh, you got a ground, and then I think this one was lower, and this might be a uh, automatic reverse lift. So, on my other truck, what I did is I mounted this in the cab. I was thinking of possibly mounting it, this inside the frame rail right here, that way it's all nice and close, and easy and all that but I think I'm gonna go ahead and mount this under the the bunk inside the sleeper so it's a little better protected uh, I believe these boxes are sealed a lot of guys do mount them outside the truck however I think I'm gonna mount this under the bunk and uh, yeah let's get going on that all right so there's where we decided to mount our box you're gonna have to drill four holes in the floor here, put rubber grommets in, and then we can start running our lines. Okay, so that's our three air lines run. This one's our supply line. This is the load bags. These are the lift bags. They're all run through the floor with nice tight rubber grommets. Got all of our air lines hooked up. We still need to zip tie everything, make it all nice and neat. But, if I remember right, this box defaults to the raised position, so I'm going to go ahead and air up the truck, make sure that the suspension lifts up. Right now it's it's held up by these two chains. Alright, so the truck's aired up here. You can see that these chains are loose, so the axle is in fact holding itself up. Now we're going to take these wires here, just put power to them, make sure that it switches and does what it's supposed to. Perfect. All you got to do now is just run this up under the truck and into the dash into a switch and then this is done. Now whenever you do this kind of stuff you always want to make sure to take some time, zip tie all your lines, put key clamps anywhere that you need, make sure that nothing's going to rub against anything because you wear, will wear holes in these lines a lot quicker than you would think. So you definitely want to take a little bit of time, make sure that all your 
your plumbing and everything secure. Nothing's gonna come up and rub on a drive shaft or rub against a cross member or even rub against other lines. All right, so I suppose that's about as far as we're gonna get for today's video. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you. Have a great day.